Okay, so today we are turning tea into capsules, right? We're turning tea into capsules for everyday alchemy, everyday alchemy for the Super Carbon YouTube channel. Yay. Great, so I'm just going to be showing you guys how I prepare that. You know, that alchemizing is not just turning water into wine. Um, it is also just taking one substance or moving one substance from one or taking um, an element from one form to another one. So uh, we've got um, a, a, a trace mineral here. Uh, we've got botucola, uh, which is a green tea. We've also got um, hibiscus. So we are, I'm going to show you how I turn tea into capsules and then i um, going to share a whole lot of information as we go. Just a whole lot of, um, of information on the items. So here we are. I've just set up over there, in the you know, the workstation that I'll be using. So I've got my grinders. I've got my, you know, I've got everything I need there. Mm -hmm. um, and then that's got to collar. Got to collar. Um, so that's also, you know, Centella Asiatica is the, is the botanical, the name of the botanical. It's also called Brahmi in Ayurvedic um, medicine. So I'm going to start with that. I'm going to start uh, powdering it. We're going to turn it into a powder. So those are got to color leaves, right? So got to color, you know, it, it just improves and it's, it's a really good, you know, um, 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 you know, herb that is used to make tea with, right? It improves memory by increasing blood circulation to the brain. Um, it increases mental calm and concentration. It helps uh, with nervous system ex exhaustion, stress, and neurotic disturbances. So it's very high in vitamin B, vitamin K, magnesium, calcium, and sodium. So um, this herb supports the central nervous system. All right, so it's a good blend to have. So Gotikala is a helpful um, herb for people with ADD or ADHD because of its stimulating effect on the brain, which helps to increase. Um, it helps to increase one's ability to focus while having a you know, soothing effect on an overactive nervous system. So this is very good for connective tissue, lymph tissue, blood vessels, and mucous membranes, right? So it contains several um, glyco glycosides that exhibit uh, wound healing and anti-inflammatory activities, right, which are necessary for healthy skin. So Gotikala is regarded as one of the most spiritual and rejuvenating herbs in Ayurvedic medicine and Chinese medicine. It is used to enhance meditation practices, um, used mostly by people that uh, yogi is the most. So it develops the crown chakra, that crown portal at the top of the head. It works specifically with the electric field, right? So it makes sense because it's tied to the mind. There are studies that have been conducted on it that has helped people, you know, recover from al Alzheimer's, um, uh, epilepsy. So it works specifically with um, the very top of the head. So it balances the right and the left hemispheres of the brain, right? It just balances the right. Uh, you see now that's the powder. So, so it fresh brain power, it heals skin um, issues, it improves memory, it enhances nerve function, and it reduces um, anxiety and stress. In an animal study from 2016, Botucola was found to have anti-anxiety effect on mice uh, deprived of 72 hours of sleep. So the mice that were given Botucola for five consecutive days before um, undergoing sleep deprivation. They experienced less anxiety, improved locomotive activity, and less oxidate, oxidative damage. So it really has an acute anti-anxiety effect. So it is a natural antidepressant. Uh, it is nature's antidepressant. It is raw. It is a leaf. So Gotukala's effect on brain function makes it an effective antidepressant. A review from 2016 done on a study of 33 people with anxiety disorders. Uh, participants were asked to take Gotukala in place of their antidepressant medication for 60 days. They reported decreased stress, decreased anxiety, and decreased depression. So it really is a safe alternative from prescription drugs. People that, you know, want to alternate from uh, prescription medications for treating um, insomnia, anxiety, stress, and depression, or people with sleeping disorders, they'll find um, that uh, uh, Gotukala is very effective. So, um, yeah, people usually drink it as a tea, like a, as a green tea, you know, but the really nice thing about the gelatine capsules, there's a, there's a lady here, Tsawazane, uh, um, I hope you are well. Hi, your pills. So this is my first period since taking them. You know, most I used to tell you what are my period pains on near-death experiences for me this month. My period started on Saturday morning. I only took pa uh, painkillers at 9 p.m. 
Usually by then I would have taken them four times already. My blood is bright red and the odor is gone. It smells floral and sweet. What the hell? Since when the cycled blood have a sweet scent? Um, no way, Stembi. Yesterday too, I only took one grandpa for the whole day. Usually I'd take two, uh, two Adco, Mephenomix, two Norflex, and one Ibuprofen, all these for period pains. So um, hibiscus helps a lot with, with that. But I just want to detail uh, why, because this client is a person who, she's no stranger to uh, hibiscus. She, uh, she'd already been drinking it as a tea. Uh, why, why was the capsules more effective than the tea in itself? So we have to, you have to remember that as a person, when you ingest something, um, the stomach acids change the cop chemical composition of, of that something, right? So gelatin, uh, the capsules, they basically are designed for medicines that, you know, um, you know, you want it to arrive and open up. It's like sending a space capsule inside of your body, right? So the gelatin protects it, it goes through. Um, the stomach acids do not change the chemical com composition of what you've, you've ingested, right? And then it's, you know, it opens up properly inside of the gut, inside of your digestive uh, 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 system, inside of, you know, so it's really, it makes it just that much more powerful, right? And when you stay consistent, it's like, it does what it's supposed to. So hibiscus is very good for like womb healing, the uterus, the gut, you know? So together with gut color, I think it's, it's, it's a really nice blend, a really, really powerful blend. So yeah, the gelatin capsules, uh, you know, one capsule is equivalent of two, uh, two cups of, two cups of, um, two cups of tea. Yeah. Because now the, the boiling of the water, heat, uh, and compression changes the chemical composition of a root or a herb. It's usually best to take it raw, right? So that you're getting all, you know, then you're taking it organic. You're getting all the properties, right? All the health benefits. But a lot of people just prefer to cook things so that they'll start feeling and tasting edible. But sometimes it's not the taste that you're going for, right? You want to bring all of um, nature's minerals into your system and you want to bring them in as pure as they are so that they can do what they're supposed to. Um, so yeah, Gotukala is what I feel like has been my secret thing for the longest time in terms of like mind mental healing um as a person who has struggled with mental health you know i've struggled with mental health for the longest time and i've managed to overcome that you know um so you know taking got to color from time to time it really builds up it's like it builds up muscle. i don't know what it does but it builds up almost as if it builds up muscle memory in the mind you know, it does incredible things, really. So, yes, go to cola is outstanding for anxiety and depression and healing wounds. Um, it has a lot of, you know, it's both a medicine and a food. This has a lot of history. But this is an herb that of all herbs out of the Indian Ayurvedic tradition, the Hindu tradition, the Vedic tradition, is considered to be the most spiritual herb. It is the herb of enlightenment. And uh, go to cola is sometimes called the Indian penny ward or Brahmi. And Brahmi is a derivative of the word Brahmin, which is a Hindu priest caste. And it literally translates as supreme self, as this idea of first of the gods and this deep connective capacity of when one is no longer moving just from material world, but is now connecting etherically. Everything's coming together, right? So it's an interesting thing to consider. What does it mean to say an herb is the herb of enlightenment. What what does that even look like? It is, promotes meditation. How? What does that? What does that tell you about this herb? What it shows you is that this is an herb that is going to improve your focus. And by the way, studies have been done and, and show this. Right? This is why it's good for Alzheimer's and memory loss. Right? It improves your capacity for focus, for concentration, stillness, um, mindlessness. Right? Being able to rebalance your system. Uh, being able to. Uh, slow thinking down. Um, this is an herb that is said to open up the crown chakra, and that's the seventh chakra off the top of the head. Um, and it is considered to be, um, in Sanskrit, like the gateway, right, to uh, the cosmos, the bridge to the cosmos. This is the place where, right, the the inner and outer worlds come together and meet. Uh, this is often symbolized, uh, you know, it's called the Sahasra. It can be symbolized by the thousand-petaled uh, lotus or flower um, and uh, sometimes the circle that is identified with it is identified as this full moon. Again, this idea of that that reflects the sun, all that is bright and beautiful. Um, and uh, it can become 
blocked, right? The Sahasra, the crown chakra, it can become blocked by stress and fear, the contractions of life that pull us in and make us um, separate and become anxious, uh, overthinking, um, you know, just feeling malaise. So being able, you know, lacking inspiration, right? So this is an herbal plant that will help calm those and help open up these venues for you. So it's commonly used by um, Buddhist and Hindu monks, uh, Taoist monks as a tea prior to meditation um, so that these energetic fields can open you up to infinite wisdom, to what's um, to unconditional love, to feeling this unity with all of life itself, right? This is big time stuff. Um, there is an ancient uh, Taoist herbalist, Li Ching Yuan, forgive my Chinese, um, who is said to have lived like 250 years, and he claimed it was because he took this herb every day of his life. Um, children have been given the herb, and just like a half gram of the Gota Cola powdered extract uh, daily for a year, and they demonstrated significant improvement in their intellectual levels, um, and that's just after six months, um, cognitive concentration abilities, right? Uh, so that's a pretty big deal. So it's good for children, it's good for spirit monks, uh, it's going to be good for you. India calls it the herb of enlightenment. Um, we go into its compounds and its medicinal uses, its food uses, right? It's really nutritive, this herb. In our healing herb session on Go to Cola, where you can find out a lot more about it. Um, but for those of you that are feeling that some of what you're struggling with is this idea of a blocked spirit, um, Go to Cola. You're going to want to try some. Uh, so let's move to this trace mineral. I've got a bunch of clips that I've taken from YouTube that I'm going to be using as sound bites or sound clips here. In the background as I work so that you guys can hear you know um, the experiences other people have had and you know all that good stuff so yeah so uh, uh, DE you know diatomaceous earth has been around for a long time like millions and millions of years and what it is it's a powder made up of fossilized diatoms now what is a diatom well that is basically algae or phytoplankton. And over eons, this uh, phytoplankton dies and becomes fossilized and ends up in the bottom of a lake. And the unique thing about diatomaceous earth is it's loaded with silicon, okay? Now, when silicon is exposed to oxygen, it becomes silica. And silica is really good for connective tissue, uh, joints, and your bone. In fact, calcium can't even help you form bone without silica. So to help the mineralization of bone and to prevent osteoporosis and osteopenia, you definitely need enough silica. Silica is also necessary to make ligaments, tendons, cartilage. Your nails become strong with enough silica. They become brittle without silica. Your hair becomes brittle without silica. Your skin loses the strength without silica. And so if your skin is wrinkly or you have loose skin, uh, you may benefit from silica. The strength of your aorta and your vessels need silica. And so silica could potentially prevent an aneurysm. Silica is also needed to build a strong trachea. And so there's different types of collagen and silica stimulates type 1 collagen. And diatomaceous earth has some other interesting benefits. It can help you potentially get rid of parasites and worms and pathogens and even E. coli because it helps to scrub and sweep away these microbes in your intestinal tract. And the third thing that it can help you with is binding with aluminum. Now, normally diatomaceous earth has aluminum in its structure, but it's very tightly bound to silica. And even just like to different types of clay or rocks, like quartz, for example, has aluminum in it that's very, very tightly bound. But when you take diatomaceous earth, this aluminum is not going to leach out in your body. In fact, it's going to bind aluminum and it has a strong affinity for it. It's going to pull it in and bind to it and remove it from the body. So if you're going to take diatomaceous earth, uh, whether you're going to do a detox program or you're going to strengthen uh, something in your body, start off with one teaspoon per day in a glass of water, okay? And then over the next three days, maybe you increase it to two teaspoons per day. It's important to take it on an empty stomach because you need strong stomach acids to absorb this trace mineral. So today, I want to make a video for you on one of my favorite supplements that I have been taking for the past nine months that I've seen a lot of benefits from, and it's very, very inexpensive. And that is food-grade diatomaceous earth. Diatomaceous earth is fossilized plankton, and it's found at the bottom of freshwater uh, lake beds, and it's very high in silica and trace minerals. So a lot of us are demineralized because of commercial farming, our soil is deplete of a lot of minerals so this is really high in magnesium and selenium 
And I really feel it helps me personally. I feel calm throughout the day. I feel more energy. Uh, I recover faster from workouts. And one of the biggest things that I love from taking this is my hair and nails grow really, really fast. Now, I've always had super thick hair, but since taking this, my hair is even thicker and stronger and healthier. So it's super inexpensive. I know there's so many testimonials online for this, um, anywhere from helping to lower your cholesterol, boosting your metabolism. Uh, I love also taking this. I feel like I sleep better, and I don't know if that's because of the higher mineral content in it. And with anything, I always take it for about three months, and then I stop and see if I feel any difference. And when I stopped taking this, I definitely felt a difference, and I've been taking it for the past six months after I took it for the first three. Um, another thing, too, is after a really long day at work and a really hard workout, I used to wake up in the morning and feel really tired and really sore and really achy. And since I've been taking this, I recover a lot faster. I feel like I just have more energy the next day. I don't have that achy, sore feeling uh, that I used to get from working out really hard and having a super long day at work. So if any of you have taken diatomaceous earth and have had really positive experience with it or even negative experience from it, uh, please tell us about your story. Diatomaceous earth. Hey, my name is Matt, and I just want to take a quick moment here to talk about uh, cleansing and diatomaceous earth and silica and just talk a little bit about, um, you know, what cleansing is all about and why diatomaceous earth might be something that you're interested in and why silica might be good for your, uh, you know, your body and your mind and just cleansing your body up in general. So, um, which is um, diatomaceous earth. Let me just set this down. Um, you know, a lot of people ask me, how do I stay in shape? Like, how do I have abs? Not that I really have, like, you know, any good, like, better than anybody else kind of abs or physique or anything. But people ask me, like, what do you do to get abs? And, you know, like, how do you stay so physically fit and lean? Um, and really, like, people always think that I have, like, these, like, advanced, like, ab exercises and um, just whatever, you know. And, like, I'm just kind of sitting there scratching my head. Like, you know, I, I literally don't even do, like, ab exercises at all. Um, if you really think about it, um, everybody has abs. Um, they're usually just covered by a layer of fat and chemicals and, um, just toxins in the body, and when you can eliminate the toxins and cleanse out all of the crap out of your body, that's when your true physique really starts to show, and Diatomaceous Earth is the kind of product that can help you clear out all of the toxins and crap that's put into your body. You know, like, if you think about it, in terms of evolution over the past, you know, thousands and thousands of years, um, essentially, people have been eating, like, real food, you know, whether it be, like, eating, like, a cow or you know, plants and vegetables, cucumbers, you know, bananas, oranges. You can see I've got the bananas and oranges every day. That, um, But, like, so we've been on, like, this natural diet for years and years, thousands of years. And then all of a sudden, you know, in the past 50 years, 100 years, we have all of this <laughs> crap showing up in the marketplace, all this processed food, these corporations taking over the world and uh, putting all of this crap in the shelves of the supermarket. And then you take that food, consumers go, without even thinking, go to the marketplace, go to the supermarket, and start buying up these products off the shelf and stuffing it into their body. And your body's like, just what the heck is this crap? Like, it doesn't know what to do with it. So it just gets stored in the body as, you know, toxins, fat. Like, your body doesn't know what to do with it. And it just gets stuck in your body. And then, you know, you, then people go to the gym and try to do, like, ab exercises. And it doesn't matter how big, your, how big your abs are if it's covered up by a layer of toxins and fat and just crap. So, um, you know, like I was saying... A product like diatomaceous earth, which contains silica, organic diatomaceous earth, this one here, Silalive in particular, um, it's, it's the kind of stuff that can really help you clear out the crap and allow you to just think more clearly and feel better. You know, waking up feeling good with energy, your body's not going to have to, you know, sit there and fight all of this toxins and be like, what is this crap inside of the body? You know, like, what are you putting into, into the body? So, you know, I just wanted to cut this quick video to kind of just talk a little bit about diatomaceous earth and you know, how it can really just help you achieve the looks and feel that you want and desire in life, really, um, and how you can really just battle, um, you know, what the, cor the major corporations out there are telling you that you should be going to the supermarket and buy this product and that product. I mean, if you ever turn on your TV, it's just constant, like, advertising, advertising, all these, all these toxins stuff in your body, and, you know, a lot of us are just at the point where, you know, your, your body's just so full of all this crap from years and years and years of consuming it, and... You really just are looking for something to help you uh, become like more healthy, a better version of yourself and clear out these toxins. And Diatomaceous Earth is a product that can truly help you achieve, you know, that higher version of yourself so you can wake up feeling good and looking good and, um, you know,
maybe get the maybe get the six pack to show a little bit more. And you know, like I said, like I don't even do ab exercises at all. Like I don't. And people just they're like, how do you have good abs? It's like, well, I don't have I don't have a body full of toxins. Uh, yeah, DE. When taken into the body of a mammal, uh, that cylinder full of holes has a strong negative charge. Millions of cylinders, they move through the stomach and the digestive tract, absorbing fungi, protozoa, viruses, endotoxins, pesticides, and drug residue, E. coli, and heavy metals. So it's like iron. When you take too much iron into the body, like it just creates like a type of like a heaviness, it balances all of that stuff. So, um, whenever, when you start taking DE and there's any like parasite in the system or parasitic, uh, picks up on on stuff. It's like you develop a bit of a flu. You keep going with it. It just means it found a, parat- a parasite in there. So um, larger parasites in the stomach or the digestive tract are cut up and killed by the sharp edges of the diet of the DE mineral, resulting in a much healthier body with less sickness. Uh, people just re- re- report feeling better, right? Since all the junk is then removed from the body by giving the immune system the jump start it needs. So this now speaks very much about. Uh, we eat a lot of processed foods and there's a lot of junk that sits into the system. Um, and most people don't know they have parasites. But um, if you're a person who eats meat, we eat all of these things that um, when they get into the stomach, they sit in the stomach, especially if your colon has film, there's like this layer of film. These things sit there. And if you know anything about meat, even like just, yeah, if you put the meat somewhere and then it starts rotting, it starts developing worms. So the our bodies are warm. Our bodies are warm and they are you know, our body temperature, it's very easy for, for parasites to, 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 to develop inside of the system, especially when purification is not being done properly, uh, right, which attributes to a lot of illnesses. Um, so, yeah. So, um, after only a few months of taking the, uh, of taking DE, the intestine wall is no longer going to be coated with mucus and mold, but it is clean, right? So, it is um, that it's like a scrub, it's like a, a scrubbing of the large intestine. So in a previous video, I remember we spoke about how food travels from when you ingest, you take the food in, and then it goes all the way down. And then some of the food sits, some of it creates like just this thick layer around, you know, our organs. So it's that thick layer of mucus and mold. So DE is really great for getting rid of mucus. And um, you know that mucus is the thing that carries illnesses and sicknesses and a lot of these things. So if you're able to let lessen mucus in the body, like this is a this is a mineral that helps you do that you know it gets rid of mucus um so it also just gives a healthier colon a clean healthy colon it keeps polyps cancers and ulcers away many people are spending thousands of money on colonics to do the same thing that de does so the colonic um it's like you go in and then they put a pipe in your um, anus and then they push water in there so that it can go through and like wash 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 your colon clean your colon and then the water comes all the way out again so that's um what a colonic does but now there is a trace mineral that does that uh, specifically, you know. So DE is 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 very strong at at and it does a, a much thorough job. Um, yeah. So many uh, users report increased energy and needing less sleep. This is a result of all the food and nutrients that are taken in being better absorbed into the bloodstream. So yeah, when we have thick layers of mucus and mold around our colons, we're not really absorbing food and minerals the same way. You know, we're not absorbing things properly. So with a coated colon, many nutrients never get absorbed into the system, which then creates even more problems. Um, Yeah, so a small amount of DE, this DE mineral, gets absorbed into the the bloodstream. Um, A small amount of the mineral gets absorbed into the bloodstream as silica, right? Um, So silica is, 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 you know, this is one of the one of the benefits of silica is that it helps to destroy body fat. Um, everyone that we, we, we know is taking DE has lowered their cholesterol by 40 to 50 points. Um, amazed at how their high blood pressure goes down. The skin clears up, acne, age spots, psoriasis, hair and nails grow stronger and grow faster. They have stronger teeth and gums. There's healthier respiratory tract, so there's less coughing. Um, and also a healthier urinary tract. So people that have UTI uh, infections, problems with yeast infections and whatnot, this, this is what you need. So food grade DE in, eliminates round worms, whip worms, pin worms, hook worms. Uh, all within seven days of being fed daily. So feed for 30 days to kill all worms in the system, right? 30 to 45 days for take worms, 90 days for lung worms. So the health benefits of food grade DER, DE, the health benefits of food grade DE mineral, this is a trace mineral, mineral are outstanding because it does double duty. So it works inside the gut and outside in stool. So people that are, you know, prioritizing gut health, this is a must have. So it just makes stool smell less. It sweeps bacteria out of the body. So worms cannot develop immunity to food grade DE as it dehydrates those it comes into contact with. You know, and parasites are a major cause of diseases. 
you know, so um, this mineral dehydrates them, strengthening the immune system. So this really is nature's, yo, nature's miracle. Um, so yeah, this mineral is definitely innovative care from Mother Nature herself. Uh, great for gut health and bloating. Um, you know, this is the perfect way to uh, heal your gut. You know, this aquatic superfood has some clever actions to clear your gut um, of, 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 of nonsense, you know, because it detoxifies. It cleanses the intestinal walls, you know, from the buildup of old food and processed foods and all of these things that we take in. It kills parasites and bugs within. It reduces gas and bloating. So the gut is the seat of human health and immunity is generated here. So cleaning and protecting it helps to stimulate the immune system. You know, you really do not want to wait until you are deathly sick before you start taking care of your health. You really want to start now to improve your health and not wait, you know, for, for final last minutes to start doing some troubleshooting. So it also just reduces cravings for carbohydrates and sugar, which contribute to bloating issues. So due to its silica content, it is solid as a dietary supplement. Silica is found in vegetables, grains, bananas, and dried fruits. So it's, it's a really nice, um, cool alternative to have there. So for the steaming herbs, the, the pink corn flour, which clears menstrual disorders and vaginal yeast infections, irritation and discomfort, this definitely regulates the cycle, you know, the moon cycle. And then blue flour, which reduces inflammation in the body, you know, um, it, 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 you know, it helps with IBS, psoriasis, clears chronic, you know, inflammation. Um, and then we've got yellow dock, um, which treats uh, microbial infections like malaria and sleep sicknesses. Then there's plantain as well. Let me see if we've got space. Let's see if we've got space. So I'll add all of that in there. All right. All right. 